Moto offers a wide array of tools that make light work of some animation tasks that could otherwise be tedious and time consuming. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to working with particles and dynamics in Moto using this simple example of filling a bowl with mesh items. Start by adding a radial particle emitter to the scene from the setup and rigging toolbar. An emitter and particle simulation item will be created. Scale and move the emitter so it sits just above the bowl. Change its emission rate to 90. This attribute controls the number of particles emitted per second. Use the preview at current time button to see a real-time simulation in the 3D viewport. To generate items to fill the bowl, we'll replace each particle with a duplicate of our ball mesh item using a replicator. Replicators create render time duplicates of geometry in a scene. Use the add item button to open the browser, locate the replicator item, and double click to add it to the scene. A replicator needs to know which item you'd like to duplicate and refers to this item as the prototype. Choose the ball mesh item as the replicator's prototype. Next, choose the particle simulation item as the point source. If we run the sim again, we'll see the replicator in action. By default, only bounding boxes will be displayed, but we can change this setting in the viewport display properties by changing the replicator's attribute from none to all. To have the replicated items affected by gravity, make sure the replicator item is still selected and make it an active rigid body using the active button. If we run the sim again, we'll see gravity at play, but the balls go right through the bowl. Select the bowl and make it a static rigid body by clicking the static button. Change the collision shape attribute of the bowl to mesh and run the sim again. There are many attributes that can be adjusted for particles and dynamic meshes, so be sure to explore what's available. Once you're happy with the look of the simulation, use the compute simulation button to cache the results. While this is a very simple example of these powerful tools, it should give you a good starting point for working with particles and dynamics. Spend some time experimenting with basic scenes like this one and then slowly introduce more complex setups when you start to feel more comfortable.